They only began the international fact-checking day exactly after Donald Trump's election as president, exactly after Republicans appropriately used technology platforms to win the elections, use social media to win the elections. They're very upset. And this plays into their entire theory. They say, well, we believe in science. All of the ob objective facts are on our side. But of course that isn't the case. And I would like to ch fact check Facebook on one point. They have been doing this for quite some time now. On uh, the election day in 2016, I posted a little meme of some sort that was mocking Hillary Clinton, as one does. My Facebook was suspended for that action for 24 hours. They've been, uh, there have been abuses in this way. They've been fact-checking people uh, for a long time. Now they're extending that to photos and videos, and this is just part of a much larger war an all-out assault uh, from big technology and big social media platforms to target conservatives. Right, well, it sounds to me like you were participating in some bigotry. A hate monger, that's what you are. And good thing we have Facebook to fact check us here. This blog post, it's, it's just rife with all this fluffy rhetoric here. But th there are some scary little sentences if you read it very closely, and I'd like to share a little bit. They say they have four goals in what they're doing, this new fact-checking mission. They say they want to combat foreign interference, fine. I'm fine with that. They want to remove fake accounts. It's about time. That's fine with me too. Increasing ads transparency. I'm not so sure about this. I don't, I don't know. I, I guess one way or the other, I don't know that that will uh, reduce quote unquote fake news. And then they say to reduce the spread of fake news, they're going to target fake identities, fake audiences, false facts, and false narratives. And this is where my little red flag, Michael, goes off. Ding, ding, ding. 